The SJ-100 and MS-21-2110 are two major aircraft models that were developed in Russia, and they represent significant advancements in the domestic aviation industry, particularly in the context of import substitution. Sergei Alexandrovsky, CEO of Aeroflot, stated in June that the company plans to terminate orders for the regional jet SJ-100 and the medium-range TU-2-14 as a result of delays in the development of import-substituted versions of these models. All 339 aircraft orders are to be converted into MC-21 variants. As a note, we want to inform you that in 2023, Aeroflot committed to purchasing only 18 M310s, 34 SJ100s, and 11 TU-2114s. However, the actual requirement is for 339 jets. The shorter version, MC-21-2110, which is still in the development phase, is one of the reasons for Aeroflot's replacement of SJ-100 with MC-21. It is uncertain how this aircraft might compete with the Superjet for Aeroflot's fleet, as its specifications are still in the process of evolving. However, there is no doubt that the Dash-210 is now in competition with the Superjet. Sukhoi Superjet is designed for short routes, while Yakolov's shorter 210 variant, like its Dash 310 counterpart, is designated for medium routes. We will try to determine whether Dash 210 has the potential to influence Superjet sales in the future. The SJ100 is well-suited for short-haul routes due to its approximately 3,000 km range. In contrast, the MS-21-210 has a substantially greater range of up to 6,400 km, which enables it to operate effectively on medium-haul routes. The SJ-100 is a viable option for regional flights due to its capacity to accommodate up to 103 passengers. The 210 variant has a greater capacity, accommodating between 132 and 165 passengers, contingent upon the configuration selected. The SJ-100 is equipped with the Franco-Russian Say M146 engines and in the future the domestically produced PD-8 engines. The thrust of the PD-8 is 8,056 kg force and in conventional takeoff mode it is approximately 7,477 kg force. The Dash 210's performance and efficiency are improved by making use of the more powerful Aviad Vigital PD-14 engines which produce a thrust of approximately 12,500 kg force. The SJ-100 is built mainly using conventional materials. In contrast, the MS-21-210 comes with sophisticated composite materials that account for approximately 30% of its airframe, thereby enhancing fuel efficiency and reducing its weight. There was a program for a stretched variant of the Sukhoi Superjet 100, which was known as the Superjet SV or SSJ-100-95. Sukhoi is known to be conducting preliminary research on this program with the objective of enhancing performance and design. The Superjet SV is designed to enhance performance metrics, including the lift-to-drag ratio and increase passenger capacity. The design process is centered on the modification of the wing shape and the potential enhancement of its efficiency while the existing power plant is retained. The power plant may be marginally optimized to improve performance. It is anticipated that the extended model will be able to accommodate approximately 95 to 100 passengers, thereby enabling it to compete with other regional aircraft in the market. The extended model's maximum takeoff weight, MTOW, is anticipated to be less than 55 tons compared to the original Superjet 100's MTOW of approximately 50 tons. The design team is currently exploring methods to improve the efficiency of the wings which could result in a lift-to-drag ratio that is nearly 18, compared to the current impressive ratio of 16.5 for the original model. Operational continuity is to be achieved by maintaining the same engine type and ensuring that any necessary modifications do not substantially increase thrust requirements. The SSJ-100ER is a second project that is designed to increase the range of this aircraft. The SSJ-100 extended range emphasizes the expansion of its range capabilities. The aircraft's flight distance is increased through its modification. It may be equipped with additional fuel containers or aerodynamic enhancements. It is not inherently concerned with altering passenger capacity. It is intended to enhance the operational flexibility of the aircraft for airlines that require lengthier routes. 
It is important to acknowledge that the full realization of these variants may have been impacted by recent geopolitical challenges that have impacted Russia's aviation industry. The question that everyone is asking is whether Dash 210 has the potential to influence the future sales of SJ-100 and its variants. Both aircraft are narrow-body commercial airliners manufactured in Russia. The 210 variant boasts a more contemporary design and the potential for enhanced technological capabilities. The wing design of the Dash 210 incorporates more sophisticated composite materials. Potentially, it is more fuel efficient. Compared to the SSJ-100 variants, it has the capacity to accommodate more passengers. Dash 210 has the potential to divert airline attention from the outdated SSJ-100 design. This could potentially result in the progressive replacement of SSJ-100 in Russian and international markets. In the event that this does not occur, the Dash 210's increased capacity may result in a decrease in demand for smaller aircraft such as the SSJ-100 in specific markets, as it can be used on a broader range of routes. Another perspective is that Dash 210 is intended to compete directly with popular narrow-body aircraft such as the Airbus A220 and Boeing 737-700, which could appeal to airlines seeking modern, efficient alternatives. Compared to the SSJ-100, which accommodates 87 to 98 passengers, it provides a larger passenger capacity with a range of up to 6,400 kilometers and a capacity of 132 to 211 passengers. This discrepancy in capacity may render the MC-21 more enticing to airlines that operate medium-haul routes. The SSJ-100 is currently undergoing re-engineering efforts to substitute foreign components with domestic alternatives, while the MC-21 is anticipated to commence deliveries in 2025. It is anticipated that deliveries of the Superjet will commence in 2026. However, the exact date remains uncertain. The MC-21 may be preferred by airlines if it becomes available sooner and satisfies their operational requirements, as the SSJ-100 delivery timeline is uncertain. This is evident in Aeroflot's desire to acquire the entire MC-21 fleet. Aeroflot's fleet mainly consists of aircraft that are comparable in capacity to the Boeing 737, Airbus A320, and A321 families. The MC-21 is an ideal fit for this segment and has the potential to replace these foreign models. Rossia, an Aeroflot subsidiary, maintains the largest fleet of SJ-100 aircraft, consisting of 78 aircraft. This quantity is considered adequate in light of their age and enhanced maintenance obligations. The MC-21 with 210 units is a bigger order from Aeroflot, while the SSJ New, which is the new name for SSJ-100, has received a smaller order. This could potentially alter market dynamics in favor of the MC-21, as it becomes the flagship model for Russian carriers. It is important to note that the Russian government has demonstrated its strong support for both aircraft programs. In conclusion, Dash 210 is designed to operate short and medium routes, which may coincide with the niche that the SJ-100 currently occupies. The Dash 210 may be the preferred choice for airlines seeking to optimize operations using a single fleet type. This is due to the aircraft's commonality and superior technology, which can lead to increased efficacy in areas such as fuel savings and maintenance costs. Operators typically favor fleet standardization to lessen operational complexities, pilot training, and maintenance requirements. The reputation of the SJ-100 has been impacted by maintenance and supply chain challenges. The MC-21 too has the potential to attract consumers away from the SJ-100 and its variants if it demonstrates superior reliability and support infrastructure. The 210 variant is a direct competitor against smaller Airbus and Boeing models in the international market. The appeal of the SJ New, which is predominantly designed for regional routes and is up against stiff competition from established players such as Embraer and Bombardier, could be further diminished if Dash 210 successfully captures this market. The MC-21 210's operating costs and price, in comparison to the SSJ-100, will be of paramount importance. The MC-21-210 has the potential to lure customers away from the SSJ-100 if it provides a more competitive price or reduces operating costs.
Therefore, one could question whether the Superjet has any advantages over the Dash 210. An airline may favor the Superjet when trips are short range. Additionally, the Superjet New is anticipated to be delivered in 2026, while the Dash 210 is currently in the design phase. Now, do you think the MC21-210 variant will affect SJ New sales in the future? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.